So you're thinking about making a move here to Myrtle Beach and well, you're considering the Market Common. Of course, the Market Commons is only half a mile to the beach and there are so many activities, shopping, dining, outdoor events that take place here throughout Market Common. So it certainly lends itself to so many pros. Yet there's gotta be some cons, right? Well, that's exactly what we're gonna be talking about today are the pros and cons of living here in the Market Commons. And you're gonna to wanna to stick around because there is one that I know nobody talks about and it does have to do with not only proximity to the beach, but accessibility to the beach. And we're gonna be getting after it right now. family I'm Jeff Bueller with living in Myrtle Beach if this is your first time to this channel and you want to learn everything there is to know about living working playing and living that beach lifestyle you've come to the right place go ahead hit the subscribe button tap the little bell give us a thumbs up this way you'll be notified on all things living in Myrtle Beach now as always I want to give a big shout out to all the amazing people that we've been able to successfully help make their move here to the beach that's right I'm talking to you and you and you and you and you if you too are wanting to make a smooth move here to the beach, whether it's in the next nine days or 90 days, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, schedule that Zoom call, I'd love to meet you. Okay, we're just gonna dive right into it, the pros and cons of living here in Myrtle Beach. I'm gonna start off with the first con, you might hear it right now, and that is the air traffic. Listen, this is the former Myrtle Beach Air Force Base, so there is, the Myrtle Beach Airport is now repurposed where that landing strip is there. So the pro is if you're someone who you know, needs to travel and fly on a regular basis, you're 10 minutes to the airport. The con is you do have constant air traffic flying right overhead. And I'm basically in that line of path right now. So you may want to consider and take a look at as you're moving there goes another one. <laughs> so you may want to consider and take a look at uh, which side of Market Common you're at if you want to get furthest away from that air traffic because it is a constant through here. Let's jump into a pro. And well, I'm doing it right now. And that is the walkability here in Market Common. I mean, we are in the uptown, downtown, urban village as it is self-described and so with that that means there's so much walkability between the city streets here and of course there are plenty of uh, parks uh, and walking trails all throughout the market common that you can access so walkability certainly a big pro if I jump into another con of course you do have a mixture of home types here whether they're condos townhomes, the row homes that you've seen me walk past, and of course, single family homes. But even with the single family homes here uh, in Market Commons, you're gonna have very small lot lines. You're gonna have little to no yard. And with those, the easements are gonna be very small. So the properties here, you know, they are stacked on top of each other. But if you're okay with that, if you're looking for maintenance-free living, it certainly is offered here, but you're not gonna find much of a yard though you do have plenty of green space to to access if you need a yard for the kiddos it's going to be a little bit more challenging that then brings me to the next pro let's jump into the pro and again when we talk about walkability that also means all that the market common has to offer as far as the shopping and dining here uh, that you that's available to you you have restaurants breweries you have boutique shops all scattered here throughout market common so a lot to access now the con to that is of course with the athletic fields that we have here and with market common and its location it's a very popular place to to visit so especially when we have those events that take place here throughout the year well those restaurants can get quite busy it can get quite crowded so you're going to want to be aware of those certain times of year you know when to access because your favorite restaurant that you may go to one time of the year well it just may get a little bit busier another time of the year especially all of the sports tourism that they host here uh, at the market common 
Now, I mentioned the proximity to the beach. And I'm telling you, this is one that nobody talks about. Yes, you're just half a mile to the beach. Actually, from where I'm walking right now, I could easily walk directly to the beach within probably about 15, maybe 20 minutes, right? So it is a, an easy bike ride, golf cart ride, and of course, a very easy drive there. The challenge that you're going to find is going to be the accessibility. And so as you come into the beach, well, it's bringing you right into the area of resort hotels. So if, and with that, parking is extremely limited. And of course you have to pay to park. So if you're wanting to be in an area where you can kind of, you know, spread your beach blanket out and have a little space between you and the other, you know, sunbather, well, this is going to be a little bit of a challenge because again, you're right in the heart of Myrtle Beach and all those resort hotels. So your next option would be to access the Myrtle Beach State Park. Now the Myrtle Beach State Park is absolutely beautiful and you will find some pristine beaches there, some pristine shoreline. The challenge with that is that does mean that you'll need to uh, pay $8 a day for parking there unless you purchase the State Park Passport. Now, I think that's right about $100 a year. And you know, what is nice about that is that does give you access to all of the uh, state parks throughout South Carolina. You can see, I think the sun has finally popped out and it is getting a bit warm right now. Uh, so to access the state park, again, that's $100 a year for that pass or you're paying eight bucks a day. The state park is also very popular, so that means during the, uh, the holiday uh, weekends throughout Myrtle Beach, you know, I have seen lines of traffic coming out of the state park and onto Highway 17. So it's gonna be very, very busy. So don't think you can just kinda show up willy-nilly and get to the beach. I've seen, you know, lines of traffic where I know people are waiting for a good hour or more to even get into the beach. So. My suggestion is check out my video map tour of the Market Common and how to access the beach, where to go. I show you a couple little secret spots that you can get to still very close. You can access by golf cart and then you can find yourself in a spot where there's going to be little to no people on the beach. So those are my pros and cons. If you're looking to make that smooth move here to the beach, again, whether it's in nine days, 90 days, or nine months from now, let's start the conversation. Give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. Best yet, I love the Zoom calls. I'll be the one jumping on that call with you. And until next time, I look forward to seeing you at the beach.